An alternative treatment for autism is giving a local couple new hope for their child. So much about this disorder remains a mystery, including what causes autism. And that's why parents and doctors are willing to try new treatments that could make a difference. Now we take a closer look at autism. The latest in this therapy is called the hyperbaric oxygen therapy. Parents John and Tricia tried everything from medications to a specialized diet for their son John, diagnosed with autism at two. This is a child they were told would never talk and would never have friends. But the Pachowskis never gave up. Hi. One day, some research on the web led them to a hyperbaric chamber. It almost looks like an enclosed tanning bed. It's like a, a huge blue bullet. <laughs> yeah. And it has windows and it looks like a little submarine. And it has a compressor attached to it. And he climbs inside with his blankets and his pillows. And we zip it shut and we turn the compressor on and it fills with the pressurized air. Here's how it works. Hyperbaric therapy, also known as hyperbaric oxygen therapy, uses an increase in atmospheric pressure to allow the body to incorporate more oxygen into your blood cells, therefore helping your brain. Take a look at these pictures. This first scan shows the brain of a child with autism. The second shows increased brain activity after using the hyperbaric chamber. The Bachelskis decided they wanted to make this investment, but first, they also wanted to make sure John's pediatrician was on board. We wanted to make sure that we had a good plan set up, whereas we wanted to make sure, okay, if we're going to do this, we want to make sure that any progress, we see, that we're documenting what we're seeing. Almost every night for an hour, John spends time in the chamber. And after just a couple of weeks, the changes began. His language has exploded. He now has many sentences that he can use, and you can see the wheels going in his head that he's playing with sentences, he's changing language around. He went from using two and three word sentences to about seven or eight word sentences, which is tremendous in six months. They also enlisted the help of a U of R researcher to help document the changes. After all, this is experimental, and there is not a lot of hard evidence that this actually does work. So even though it's apparently working for John, it may not be right for all kids with autism. You really have to take a, go slowly and not come out and say, okay, we've got the new um, end-all, be-all to autism treatment. No matter what, the Pachelskis are glad they took the chance. Teachers, friends, even family have all remarked about a difference in John. It's the potential the parents knew was deep inside all along. And I sat down next to him and I said, good night, John, I love you. And he turned over and without any help or any coaching, he said, love you too. And he kissed me and rolled over. So I'm so everything we've ever done, every penny we've ever spent, I mean, completely washes away when you see him doing things like that. The cost of the chamber can cost an upwards of around $16,000. There have been studies done that this type of equipment could also help those with cerebral palsy. Uh, and that a lot of other parents with autism are waiting for more studies to be done to get something firmer than more concrete. anecdotal evidence. Yeah, yeah, so for right now, we just have stories from parents, but it's it's good to know that it's working yeah. for this child. Two happy parents there. Mm -hmm. Experimental, so insurance doesn't cover yeah, absolutely. any of it.